Hi, I'm Stephen Black from Westwood Gardens, and today we're going to talk about the difference between annuals and perennials. Annuals are the plants that you have to replant every year. Uh, we're in a greenhouse full of them right now, and you may recognize several of them, like impatience, marigolds, petunias, begonias, alyssum, geraniums. They're the plant. They're the warm season annuals that you plant now in the early spring, uh, or plant any time through spring and summer. And they'll give you bright, vibrant colors continually from the time you plant them all the way through next fall. Those are the annuals. So now we're in the perennial area. So all the plants in this whole house are perennials, which means they come back every year. You plant them one time, and they continue to come back each year and flower. Uh, this salvia, for instance, will come back and flower each April and May. Now the drawback is that they will only bloom, this one for instance, uh, just until the end of May. And after that, then you'll just have the plant. You have to deadhead the tops, and you just have the plant at that point. And maybe there's a little bit of a color flush in the fall, but it's nowhere near a long, as long in bloom time as the annuals that we just looked at. There are other uh, perennials, though, that can be used just for texture, like an artemisia, lamb's ear, um, and then there are some cute, confusing ones like dianthus that are both an annual and a perennial, depending on which variety you buy. But, but this perennial dianthus, again, will only, will only bloom for about six to eight weeks. So the trade-off, again, if you buy an annual dianthus, it will bloom all through the spring and summer. So what's the best way to solve this dilemma, annual versus perennial? Well, the best way is to just mix them up. Uh, if you use a few perennials in the back of your bed, because they, they tend to get a little bit taller, uh, then you won't have as much bed to plant in annuals. But by adding some annuals in around your perennials, you'll make sure that you have color in those beds all throughout the spring and summer. So use both. And have color all through the season and color that comes back next year.